गाइज वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सिमिलिंग ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू डिले द सिग्नल विदाउट यूजिंग डिले ब्लॉक सो लेट सी हाउ टू डू दैट सो इन दिस मॉडल आई हैव टेकन वन रिपीटिंग सिक्वेंस टेयर ब्लॉक विच प्रोवाइड्स द सिग्नल दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डिले देन अ कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू विच विल बी द इनिशियल वैल्यू इट कैन बी एनी वैल्यू दैट यू वॉन्ट टू गिव एज अ इनिशियल वैल्यू देन अ डेटा स्टोर रीड a data store write and a data st store memory block uh, i'll tell you why do we need these blocks and uh, this free running counter uh, which provides counter output starting from zero so the free running counter is used to find out the time sample value okay and this chart in which the actual functionality of delaying the signal is implemented so let's see what we are trying to do here so double click on this chart so you can see here there is this default junction then the first transition the sequence order is 1 and 2 so the first execution will be this first condition it will check if t is equal to equal to 0 t is the counter output so in the first step the value of the counter output will be 0 so if that value is 0 which will be 0 then my output should be initial value which is a constant block value then the old value should be equal to in so whatever input signal value is coming will be equal to old value which is being written in the data store so old value is going in data store okay so in the first run the output will be initial value so what happen in the next cycle so now the t is not equal to 0 so the algorithm will proceed with this second output which is else so output will be equal to old input old input is the value which was written in the data store in the first cycle so the output will be now old input and in this cycle old value will be equal to input so the new input that is incoming signal will be written in the data store so what is done here is whenever the input comes it gets written in this data store and the next cycle it is passed as a output and in the first cycle the output will be this initial value and from the second cycle the output will always be old input as an output and for this model since we are using repeating sequence stress block if you go in model configuration parameters you can see here the start time is 0 stop time is 10 the solver option the type is fixed step and solver is discrete and the fixed step size is 1 okay so now if i simulate this model you can see here the first signal is our input signal the second signal is the output and the third signal is the old value so the first and the third signal should be equal and the second signal should be the delayed one so you can see here first signal and the third signal are equal which are giving 3 1 4 and so on these values and the second signal is the first value is 0 which was the initial value and from the second cycle it is same as the input signal which is 3 then one so the delayed version of the signal one more thing 
uh, why did I use this data store memory block so if I delete this block and now try to simulate this model so the simulation error will occur that is data store memory with a was not found for block the data store read so that's why you need to use this data store memory block whenever you use data store read block so that's how we delay the signal without using delay block so if you want to delay the signal for two cycles so what you can do here in this chart you can use t is equal to equal to 0 or t is equal to is equal to 1 so it will delay the signal for two cycles so that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys thank you for watching